Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'll be showing you how to make this top. So as you read at the title, this is a halter backless top. And actually my friend asked me to make a top similar to this. And it was a Bell Hadid inspired top. I'll put the picture over here so that you know what it looks like. And yeah, I thought the top was a bit too revealing for me so I was trying to find an alternative and I found this design on Pinterest and it's this one over here and I said I can wear that so yeah this is that top it is like a business on the front party on the back action so by the way the scrunchie that I'm wearing on my wrist I actually made this and if you guys have been watching my DIY tutorial on how to make the scrunchies then please go ahead and watch that after this video and I'll also put the link down at the description box so before we get started, make sure that you guys are subscribed to my channel and also hit the notification bell down below so that you wouldn't miss any of my new videos and let's get started. So to make this top, you will need two pieces of fabric and also some string. So for the string, this is four yards and then the measurement of the fabric is this is 16 inches wide on the top and then 22 inches wide on the bottom. So the measurement over here, this is just the circumference of my neck plus two inches seam allowance. And then on the bottom, this is just a standard 20 inches plus two inch seam allowance. Now for the length of our top, I just measured my neck to my waist and that is the length of our top. Now first thing we're gonna do is we're going to hem the sides over here. You're just going to fold it twice and then sew on the straight stitch. Also the other side over here and you're going to do that for both pieces of fabric. So this is what it looks like after we've hemmed the sides and now what we're gonna do is we're going to put the two pieces together, wrong sides together like so, we'll align them and then we're going to sew on the top, the sides and then the bottom part and then at the bottom part over here we're going to leave an inch and a half gap so that we can flip our top right side out later. So I already pinned it in place like so and then over here we're not gonna sew this part this is an inch and a half gap. This is where we're going to flip our top right side out afterwards. So this is what it looks like after we've sewn it on together and then over here is the gap where we are going to flip this right side out. See that? That's the hole. So yeah, we're just going to flip this right side out, ironed it flat and then we'll move on to the casings of our top. So this is what the top looks like after we've flipped it right side out and ironed it flat. By the way, I already drew on the casing for our string. This is half an inch thick and this one will be the ruffles and this is an inch thick. And for the bottom part, it's the same. By the way, uh, we have three lines over here because I couldn't decide if I wanted to be three inches thick or three and a half inches thick. So um, we'll see. Now what we're going to do is we're going to sew on a straight stitch from one end to the other for all the lines. And then we're going to seam rip the sides over here and these will be the casings for our strings. So this is what it looks like after we sewn on the straight stitch for the casings. That's the top and this is the bottom so I decided to go for the three and a half inch. By the way, I already seam ripped the side over here so we have a hole i don't know if you can see it'll 
there's a hole over here. Now what we're gonna do next is we're going to fish through the string. So you're going to put a pin on one end and fish it through. So you're just going to fish it through until you reach the other end and then we're almost there. And so here's the string. You're going to pull it, make sure that it's even. Make sure that both strings on each side is even in its length. And then what you're going to do next is you're going to make a cross like that. And then like this. And then on the bottom part for the casing, you will take one end. See this? You will take one end and fish it through here like so so like that once you fish it through just pull it and then take the other end of the string this one and then fish it through this hole So once that's done, it should look something like this. This is the back part of our top, okay? So yeah. And this one, you will tie it around your waist. So I tried it on. This is what it looks like. You just need to adjust the neck part and over here. And yeah, it's like that. The neck over here has the ruffles and there's also ruffles over here. Now, I'm just gonna go ahead and wash this and then we'll move on to our try-on portion. So this is what the top looks like. As you can see, the neck over here, it is a halter neckline with some ruffles on top. So, ganyan ichura you guys. And then it goes down like a trapezoid like this. And over here, we also have some ruffles. It looks like a peplum top from the front. So when you're wearing this, make sure that if you have a bigger bust, adjust accordingly like an inch on the sides so that it would cover your bust figure a bit more. You can adjust this if you want it thinner like that or you want it thicker. I want it to be the same width of my neck like that. So this is what it looks like on the front, this is the side, and this is the back. So for this top, if you're worried about your side boobs showing, um, just make sure that you adjust the sides over here so that it would cover it more. And yeah, as you can see, it's not um, puffing out. So, I'm pretty much covered. This is what the top looks like. That is it for our tutorial guys. I hope you like how this top turned out. I like it, although it does look like a drawstring bag if you lay it out flat. But yeah, it is a halter top. So that's it for our tutorial guys. I hope you like it and if you do, please hit like. Also hit the subscribe button down below and the notification bell so that you wouldn't miss any of my new videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!